Oh, we're gonna go live right now. One, two, let's go live. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, thank you, and thank you so much for recommending this headset to me. You guys have been hounding me for almost a year in the comments to cover this headset. I don't know why I never got to it, because you guys were right. And this is what's so fun about this community. Again, I learned so much from you guys. Hopefully you learn a little bit from me here and there, you know what I mean? But again, with you guys recommending something like this and me finally checking it out, wow, what was I doing? Because I sure was missing out. I might've just spoiled this entire review. But again, I just wanted to thank you guys so stinking much for pushing me to check out this product. The gaming headsets by Odyssey. 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 Whatever. I don't know how to say it. It's going to be like Arctics and Arctics. I still can't say that one right. And yes, as you see, we have both here. We have the Mobius and the Penrose. Yes, we do have the Xbox version, but it's going to be the exact same as far as features and sound we're talking about if you're using it on the PlayStation 4 or 5. But again, we have the Xbox version here and then the Mobius as well. And I'm going to kind of compile these together because I know you guys have probably watched tons of reviews of these already. You know, I'm a little late here right so I'm gonna compile them together we'll answer a couple questions number one are these headsets worth the price are they as good as a lot of people are saying and then also we'll compile into here what's the differences between the two should you just go with the Penrose or should you just go with the Mobius so anyways let's dive into these gems so as far as in your box of both headsets quite similar again Penrose over here Mobius over here you can tell with the colored ear cups so you get USB a to C, USB C to C, 3.5 wireless dongle, which by the way, you can switch to PC Xbox, and then your detachable microphone, and of course, your headset. Coming over to the Mobius, very long, thick braided USB A to C cable here, C to C, 3.5 detachable microphone, a heck of a lot of paperwork over here, of course, your headset, and then a little carry bag, because don't we need a carry bag with all of our gaming headsets? All right, so you all know where we have to start, right? No matter how great this headset sounds, as you all know, right? We have to start with comfort. And taking a look at both headsets, they're the exact same as far as comfort. They have these pleather ear cushions, very big, very thick, very plush but also very pleather inside and out. And yes, your ears are gonna get a little spicy on these guys. But again, on both headsets, they are the exact same. And yes, you can remove them. As you see, they pull off their nice little rubber or, or foam gasket in it to preventing that vibration from the cup to the ear cup here. And then the headband up there, you have that little bit, still very plush and then also pleather. But again, when I'm talking pleather here, you might be like, man, you know what I mean? But they actually work out, you know, they really, th let me put it this way, right? So you got the pleather ear cups and the headband. So no, no denying it. Your ears are going to get spicy, right? But when you take this headset, you put it on your head, it clamps onto your head. It does. It's not tight clamping force. It's right on that line of medium to tight, right? It's definitely not loose. You can see I move around. It moves my glasses with it, right? But it's not going to fall off. It's pretty good and I really think that clamping force is going to go into the sound that we're going to talk about later because again it goes on there the ear cushions are big and plush and it just kind of forms into your head I'm not getting any pressure points or anything like that yeah the clamping force is a little bit tighter than some other headsets you know Audio Technica Steel Series something like that it is tighter than that but again it plays into that sound because again the drivers the headset the ear cups become part of your head. So how about the build on a $300 and $400 headset? Well, golly, I sure hope they're good, you know what I mean? And they do feel really solid in the hand. They are plastic, you have full swivel and everything, in and out, but it feels solid. It feels very solid. When I try to pinch it right here, I'll stretch it out now. I don't wanna go any further than this, and I don't think many of us are gonna be going further than that, but you all know I like testing my products for you guys, put them through the ringer. But look at that. Twisting them up right here, no issues. And again, with all that swivel and everything, that's gonna work out for comfort. It's also gonna work out for that build. Cause say when you're stretching it out, you don't have one point of pressure right there. Again, with the ear cups moving, the headband and everything like that. So as far as the build, it feels premium. It really does. In the hand, it feels incredibly premium, but yeah. It is pretty much all plastic. Now let's go ahead and check the weight of these headsets. We'll start off with the Mobius here, get it on a scale, and we are getting right around 360, 362 grams right around here. So let's go on and get the wireless version, the Penrose, as I just twist them up and throw them around, right? <laughs> 
we are getting 358. So both of them right there, pretty much right at that 360 mark. But again, when you compile everything I just talked about as far as comfort in the build, again, slapping this headset on your head here, you don't feel it like weighing down on you. You, you really don't. Because again, it, it does clamp onto your head for sure. And it alleviates some of that weight. And it, it, it balances out. It definitely balances out on the head. So comfort and build on the Audi-Easy, 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 Audi Audi I just can't say it right. But anyways, as far as the comfort and build on these headsets, I give them a pass. Are they stinking cozy? Nah, I don't think I can give them that badge, but they're definitely cozy or, or should we just go comfortable? I don't know, but all of my gameplay sessions, uh, when I gamed a lot with these, both of these headsets, I gamed a lot with them. I never really wanted to just take them off and say, ah, these things are annoying. Me being a glasses wearer, straight frames as well, you know what I mean? I never wanted to take them off. So I do give them a pass in the comfort range. Again, maybe if the ear cups were a little more breathable, but I think, again, like I stated, I think that might mess around with the sound, which we're about to talk about here shortly. And then as far as the build, like I stated, it feels very premium in the hand. Okay, so I don't want to bore you too much on features and functions. Again, I'm sure you guys know a whole lot about these headsets already, but I want to touch base on it and then we're going to dive into juicy sound stuff there, right? But talking about both headsets, you get 15 hours of battery life on the Penrose, the wireless one here. Now you do have to charge the Mobius as well with all the features we're about to talk about. You got Bluetooth on them and everything, which you can use in that mode. But the majority of the time you're going to be using it running USB right there. And I never had any issues with battery on either of them. I never did. I had to charge the Penrose once. Never got any battery notification or anything on the Mobius. Um, the majority of my time was with the Penrose, me being a very big wireless fan. But anyways, 15 hours of battery life there. And as you see, on the back of both ear cups here, we have a whole lot of dials from volume to microphone to 3.5 USB our microphone port, our 3D button, and on the top, our power buttons right there. I'm just gonna pull these over here real quick and show them to you. As you can see, this is for the Penrose, showing us everything you have right there, how to pair it up, what each thing does, microphone volume, headphone volume, your power, yada, 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 right? Now on the Mobius, you have a whole lot more, as you can see. We'll flip this over and it lets you know all of the different controls you have, long press, single press, double press, a lot of controls on the Mobius over here. Okay, so let's get to the hot topic here, the sound of these headsets. Again, the Mobius, you're gonna be plugging in USB to USB-C right here, USB-C into the headset, USB into your PC. On the Penrose, you're gonna go wireless, and these are gonna go wireless on PC or Xbox, which you can switch over right here on your little dongle. And it pairs up instantly right there. So as far as sound on these guys, they're using 100 millimeter planar magnetic drivers. This is the first time me dabbling with this here. I think I might have used one a, a few years back, but again, it's not really registered in my head. So this is still pretty fresh to me right here. So 100 millimeter planar magnetic drivers. I'm not gonna dive into it. I'm not gonna act like I know about those. You have to go watch a different video for those, but we're gonna talk about this sound here, right? Also packing a frequency range of 10 to 50,000. And let me tell you what, what I wanna do is just, we compile that, right? Those drivers, that frequency range, even into the comfort where it clamped a little bit and came part of your head. Holy moly. And I mean this. Holy moly. These things sound absolutely amazing. Maybe the best gaming headset I've heard. There are some very close ones with it. Very close ones. And you're probably asking, Techni, I need some comparisons of these. Tell me, are they better than the Arctic Pros? Are they better than your favorite Corsair Virtuoso XT? These are a different world. And, and I'm doing a lot of tests in the background still as we speak. So I don't want to do too many comparisons right now. I don't want to mix you guys up. I don't want to mix myself up, right? I'm doing a lot of those in the background. A lot of those will be coming. But talking about the core sound of these, wow, it was so crisp. It was so clear. It was so punchy. It was so full. It was so balanced. It was so everything that we want in a gaming headset. And I don't say that lightly. I know those are some big words right there, saying it has everything. But it did. Me playing Outriders. You all know I talk about that game a lot. A lot of bass, a lot of sounds going on, a lot of effects and abilities and stuff. It did it all. 
It didn't get rumbly. It didn't get jumbly or muddy or anything like that. It was crisp, yet full and immersive. All right, I'm playing Forza, doing a little bit of rally car. You know, the popping of the exhaust. There's multiple pops, high sounded pops, low sounded pops, dirt and gravel kicking up on your car. I picked it all up, whether that be on PC with this or on the Xbox playing Forza right there. Okay, playing Call of Duty, same thing. The weapon hits were so punchy. The footsteps, the environment, the immersion, the explosions, it did it all and it did it all good. Wow. Even going into Insurgency Sandstorm, but getting back into that game, right? I felt like I've never been on a battlefield, so I don't think I can say this, right? But say if you're watching a movie or something, you felt like you were there. You felt like you were within the game, right? I didn't get that gaming headset vibe. I didn't get that fake, you know, animated sound vibe. I got that true vibe. It was awesome. Even playing Fortnite. I'm sorry to go on to so many different games, but again, I dabble with this headset so much on many different games. Going into Fortnite. Wow. Wow. It was stinking awesome. I heard everybody where they were coming from. The details and the punch of every weapon, yet still with environment and everything going on. Mm. Wow. It was awesome. All right. So diving into the mic test here. As you see, they both have detachable microphones. They both include the windscreen, but the microphones are a bit different. On the Mobius here, you have this little thin style here, and you can see the microphone letting you know which way for it to point. This is the microphone on the Mobius, and we're gonna test them with the windscreen because heck, that's how they come, so why not? Now the microphone on the Penrose here, it's a little bit different. As you can see, it's bigger, kind of like that uh, traditional microphone you see from Audizy, Audizy, my goodness, I can't say it. But anyways, as you see, the microphones are a bit different, but we are gonna test both of them with the little windscreens on here. All right, so we are now using a microphone on the Audizy Penrose right here. Odyssey. That's how you say it. Odyssey. Is that right? Help me out in the comments. I think I have it. Odyssey. Anyways, microphone test. Penrose right here. Now, I did listen to a playback from this because I was getting a lot of high frequency in the background right there because you can control the microphone volume right on the back of the ear cup right there. So you can control it right there. And then you're also going to have it within your device, kind of like me going through OBS here. And I was just catching a lot going through. And when I listened to it back, I had a lot of feedback, a lot of little static in the background. That's because the microphone was cranked up so loud on the headset. I'm not too sure how it's coming through right now, but it seemed like it's pretty balanced on OBS. So again, if you got multiple inputs or devices that you can control the microphone, make sure you dial them in there perfectly. But, um, you know, most of your buddies will be able to tell you if you're too loud or not, and you can just tone it down right on the back of the headset. But all in all, microphone, Audizy, Penrose. Let's go and check out the Mobius. Audizy. I said it wrong, and I just knew I had it right. Audizy, Mobius. Let's check them out. All right, so now we're using a microphone on the Audizy Mobius. Audizy, this is going to drive me stinking nuts. This is the microphone, again, plugged into USB. And, you know, the cable's actually rubbing against me, so we can see if we're getting any noise that way as well. I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but on both headsets, your mute switch is right on the side right here, which I truly like because I can clear as day decipher, bam, if it's up or down. Plus, it gives me notification in the headset if we're muted or active. I really love that mute button right there. As cheesy as it sounds, it's stinking awesome. But all in all, these are the microphones on the Audizy. Odyssey headsets. Gosh, I'm not going to get it right through this whole video. All right, so now let me just show you the software real quick. I'm, again, I'm not going to dive too deep into this, but this plays a lot into both headsets. And then again, a, a few differences with both of them. Now, as you're seeing right here, you can see I have the Penrose plugged in by USB to the USB-C on the headset. And then of course the Mobius, how it always is, is plugged in by USB over here but you cannot adjust it in the software on the Penrose just by wireless. It has to be plugged into USB. And how are you gonna decide for them? You have profiles, your Mobius or your Penrose. So we'll start over here with the Penrose. As you see, you have equalizer settings. You can save some presets right there. Dab with your side tone on or off, and then your mix. Now they state they have an app for a phone that's gonna do all this right there. I couldn't get the app to work. It has horrible reviews on the App Store as well, so I'm not sure if that's just me or if that's a known issue right there, but I couldn't get it to work. But anyways, you have these controls here. Quick side note on the side tone. <laughs> that was a good one, right? I've heard a lot of people online talking about they're getting some static and some noise in the back of their headsets, just like right in the background, just when no sound is going on. 
I had the same thing. I'm like, what's going on? This is driving me nuts. I'm in my console, I'm on my PC trying to find out what's happening, right? It took me about a day to find it. I'm like, this is driving me crazy. It is the side tone. So make sure to get into the PC, download the software, dabble with what you want, but make sure you get in there and turn that side tone off. But again, as far as software, mic volume, which you can adjust right on the headset here again, as you see, adjusting it there. You have EQ adjustments, basic device info, letting you know what everything is, and then shutdown, auto shutdown. Now, one other thing I wanna show you, as you're looking at my pen rows here, I have no presets and I just have that base flat across the line there, which is odd for me if I have an option to dabble with EQ. I left both of these headsets on default, exactly how they were out of the box. Did I try adjusting the curve? Yes, I did. Did I try different EQs, which we're gonna look at over here on a Mobius? Yes, I did. But the best, absolutely jaw-dropping sound is right out of the box. How stinking cool is that to say? I'm sorry, but that is stinking awesome. That right out of the box sound is phenomenal. Take a look at the software for the Mobius. You're gonna see stuff quite different here, right? So let's go on. We could do have these guys powered on here, right? So let's go on and get into, now I just think it went into, as you see, each time you switch it to whatever different, we're in high res, it actually registers it as a completely different device. So I'm gonna get into 7.1 right here and I'm gonna show you guys the uh, head tracking. So 3D sound, as you see up here, and that's just how you activate it, right on the side, whichever one you want, which my light is shining in a bit right there. Let me adjust this for you guys. So you got 3D and you can calibrate it and then your sound mode. But as you see, I'm moving the headset, right? If you look right, it moves left, up, down, which obviously I need to calibrate and you can tweak it to what you want down there. Like I stated, stated, like I stated, this is not for me. It's fun, it's cool, not a feature for me. Maybe, which I don't have, maybe VR. Let me know in the comments if you use this headset and you use VR. I want to know that. I want to buy a VR headset now to try that. How stinking cool. Ooh, that's that's got me, ooh, nerd chills, nerd chills. That's got me excited. Let me know if you use it. And let me know if it works like that. I'm just curious. I don't know how you'd calibrate and because you're moving around, so the calibration might be off. I don't know. Please let me know down in the com comments. I'm really curious. I'll go buy a VR headset if one of you is telling me it's worth it, you know? Anyways, measure your head if you want, all that goofy stuff. Again, basic profiles over there. Sound profiles, as you can see, I left it right on a stand or a default right there. It was just the best. It was the best. Device info, just like we saw on the other one. Firmware updates right there. And then, again, profiles as far as that. So as far as looking at the software of both of these, it's different. Right, there's different features on both of them, like I stated before. But that right out of the box, that core experience of both headsets, that's where they shine. And wow, do they shine. So let's answer that question we all wanna ask. Number one, are they worth the price tag? I got the Amazon pulled up here right now. Mobius you can get for $399, 400 bucks. Audeezy, $299, 300 bucks. Whether that be the PlayStation or the Xbox version. So between these two, $100 more, for a wired headset? Well, that's weird. So think about it, what are you getting with this? Some more features, some more options. 7.1, stereo, head tracking, 3D sound, right? You're getting a lot of cool tech packed into this guy. Over here, you're getting core, core sound, wireless, you know what I mean? You're getting a lot of just that good quality headset for gaming with the Penrose. And that's where my recommendation goes. Is the tech, is the high res and all that stuff cool in a Mobius? Yeah, it is. So you gotta sit there and decipher, okay, hey, I want that core Audi Odyssey sound. I'm gonna get that, but I also wanna dabble with some of these other things. Maybe if you listen to more music and watch a little more movies. And maybe if you have, I don't know, uh, VR, if that works, then maybe this will work. But as is, PC gaming, console gaming, Series X, PlayStation 5, whatever, I say Penrose. 300 bucks, I think it's worth it. The sound is out of this world. It really is, and you're gonna notice it. The comfort, I wish was better. I'm not sure how they would do that, because again, it would interfere with that sound, sucking into your head and putting them drivers right in your face. I'm not sure how that would work, but they're not uncomfortable, but they're not stinking cozy. The sound is so good, 
I want to use these more and I will use these more. Are they my main? Can I give up that stinking coziness for such great sound? I'm not sure. I'm going to be using them a lot more and I'm real curious. I want to chime in with you guys here. They got these Odyssey LCD GX gaming headset. They look stinking cozy. They really do. They're 900 bucks. I want to try them. Have you tried them? Let me know down in the comments. $900 for a headset. It looks like it kind of answers a lot of the questions that we have with these as far as comfort and stuff. Might be the perfect combination. Let me know if you use them down in the comments. I'm really curious here. So, all right, that's my review on the Odyssey gaming headsets here. Thank you all again so much for pressing me to check these out. Cause wow, it, they're in a whole different class. They are easily the best sounding gaming headset out there. Comfort wise, like I said, needs work, but wow. These things are stinking awesome. They really are. Let me know if you use them or if you're picking them up and what you think about them as well. But all in all, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this one. Again, I can't say it enough. Thank you all so much for recommending these to me and telling me to review these. I had a blast. I hope you all had a blast. If you did, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for future tech videos. Hey, I hope I catch you in the next one. Bye now.